Hey, and welcome to the final video in this series for the Marvel Legends Build-A-Figure for the Hulkbuster. And we are going to put this thing together and see how awesomely big it is, compare it to the other figures, and, uh, you know, have a good time. So, we got the legs. Let's uh, adjust the camera just a bit here. We got the legs. And the arms. And we have the lower part of the uh, torso body area and the upper part put together but I'll take it apart and the head so we are going to adjust for the build as we go along so I've put this together once already just to test it out um, it's a pain in the butt to get this part off so let's put it together it's gonna stay together and it's never going to be taken apart again because it's pretty awesome. So we'll start from the bottom and work up. So first we have to get the leg into this peg area here. And this has a surprising amount of articulation. My cat's being a pest. Way to talk to the people, Kenny. So uh, there are the legs. And next, now you have this little peg here, and what you have here is a little slot area. You can see that right here. And that slides into this square on uh, both sides. And what this peg does, what the peg does is it moves around stiffly, but it's on like a, a ball in there. So once you loosen it up, you can actually bend about quite a bit so let's get that connected um is this the front no that's the back so you put the back on like this and adjust the camera and then all you have to do is attach these pegs into the holes here just like this and there you go and we will pop on his head and again this is just on this little ball here and uh, it goes up and down, but it also does get a little bit of side to side. So let's get his head on. Wait, nope, that wasn't the satisfying pop we were looking for. There we go. Excellent. And the arms were really difficult to get off too. I actually had to take this apart to get the arms off and then even then it was tough. So let's hope they go back in fine. I think that's in there and we will get the other arm that had a better pop so let's check out the Hulk Buster I mean he is huge um, I'll have to move him back just a bit adjust the camera to really get an idea how big he is we'll just uh, bring Dr. Strange here I mean he's a about one and three quarters the size of an actual figure and his articulation for a big guy is mighty impressive so in the knees you get quite a good bend we're working from the bottom up this time although i didn't start with the feet but for a big guy that's a really good bend and then he gets up like that too if you wanted to go that way and the feet actually move so you can get some Really good stances. Let's see if we can get that in. There we go. The uh, the feet do go. How can we do this? Side to side, uh, like this, beating them up. So they do go side to side a bit, forward and back a bit, which is quite good. Again, so when you have the feet like that, you can move them and set them up in good poses and everything. And this guy's going to be. Um, really nicely posed somewhere i'm not sure where i'm going to put him yet but he's one of my new favorites now so anyway moving up the leg you have the upper thigh swivel goes all the way around except this uh, metal piece here kind of catches um and then of course it has like a ball joint in the hip region so you get some good movement you can do some high stepping which is quite impressive um there is no hip swivel, but again, since you have this up in here, with some finagling, you can 
get him to turn about quite a bit. So we're gonna move the camera up just a touch. There we go. And then for the arms, the hands do actually move a little bit if we can hold him, as you can see. So again, that is kind of impressive. Now they're on like a hinge. They'll go forward a little bit. They could go backward, but you have this piece here and that's not gonna let you go anywhere. So there is movement, it's not a lot, but again, it's a big figure, what do you expect? Um, the elbow, pretty good bend. I mean, it's about 45 degrees maybe. So you're not getting a lot out of the elbow, but again, big figure. Then you have the upper bicep swivel, which theoretically would go all the way around, but since they have this big part here, it's gonna get caught on this uh, attachment up there. And then for the shoulders, it's on a joint like this, and then it is on a hinge, so it will bend up and down pretty awesome. And uh, lastly, the head. Again, as I said, it'll go back and forth and a little bit side to side. So you can actually get some good head movement out of this guy, which I was surprised by. So there you have it. That's the Hulkbuster. Um, this was well worth it. I mean, there's some figures in this series that I wasn't too thrilled with. You have Vision over here, wasn't impressed. I like the movie uh, version better, plus the cape was uh, a little bit annoying. Doctor Strange was cool. I like that character. Uh, Valkyrie, cool looking character. I don't know anything about her. Thundra, lame all the way around. And then of course the uh, Marvel Now Iron Man and the War Machine which is pretty awesome. So yeah, um, I'm, I think I chipped some paint here. Well, oh well, he's got battle damage. But um, yeah, I've enjoyed the series. I hope you've enjoyed this series. I'm really pleased with the Hulkbuster here. Uh, he's gonna be a real showpiece, that's for sure. And uh, thanks for watching and, ah, I told you I was coming back. I was gonna kick your ass. I said, Ha <laughs> ha!